all this time when I was walking the miles to and from the library, getting contacts and trying to get my book to sell, I was writing follow-up poetry and lyrics. I envisioned a whole series of dread collections of my poems and lyrics. That was the creative side, that of the dreamer. But the logical side and business end brought me to the reality that my book was not selling. Despite my blue-collar work ethic. Despite my research of potential buyers. Despite my photocopying and envelope stuffing. Despite my phone calls. Despite all the money I had spent, nothing was ever going to change the fact that no one person or business entity would ever consider buying my book and a lot of the samples that I sent out for consideration ended up for sale on Amazon. In fact, if you see any used copies of The Crimson Dread or Darkroom Dreamer, more on that later, you can accept it as fact that it was a sample copy I had given a potential buyer or a library. I even tried to get a buzz going online with a survey of which was a better book collection of poetry, The Crimson Dread or Blinking with Fists? Someone asked me what the beef with Billy Corgan was? I told him there was no beef. Billy Corgan is my idol, a genius, and this was just friendly competition. That still didn't do anything and with that, this exercise in futility was over. My relatives still like to give me shit to this day and say that I lost all the money I had ever saved in the Navy trying to get my book to sell. The last time I went to that library, I read Hulk Hogan's book, Hulk Rules. It set off a love of reading autobiographies and I got myself a copy years later. My mom was really pissed at me, as if I had been doing nothing since leaving the Navy. I tried to explain the self-business, small business aspect to her, but she told me. It's not working. She was right. 